Okay, my family just came by and we had pizza. So we cut that last bit a little short. So here is the base. Here's the base, and uh, I haven't done anything yet. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do, here's the finishing steps. So I'm going to keep this, tighten that, make sure these are all tight. Oops. These are nice and tight. Just double check in here. Okay. So these guys over here are tight. And these guys are not yet. See, this is still kind of loose. Now, by the way, if you get any kind of wobble, um, it's just because this is twisting a bit. And that will twist until you get everything tightened down. So don't worry about that too much. Now, what I'm going to do next is tighten the top. And I'll tell you why. Just the top. Let's get this. We've got to move this a bit. See, even though these are bumping into the um, zip ties there, that's okay. We can still move these. It's just a little more convenient to put those zip ties in without the nuts there in the way. Okay. Now, by the way, um, part of the problem with, the, with other 3D printers is calibration, or at least hardware, making sure everything is straight and plumb, level, parallel, all that. This is going to be perfectly parallel, no adjustments. Now, the twist, like I said, you can kind of see that's wobbling. Now the wobble's gone. Um, you will potentially need to adjust how far in. This, this side is going to be tight and this side you may have to adjust in or out depending on the the heat bed when we get our linear rods, I mean our linear rail in here. Um, we go to bolt it down to our laser cut part and we might find that we need to move this side in or out. Um, we'll deal with that in a minute but I wanted to show you, demonstrate something. So <coughs> The reason I, I tighten the top and not the bottom, you can see this is still loose, is because I'm going to put in these rods here. And these are just press fit. Some people think that uh, press fit isn't going to be tight enough. Believe me, it's plenty tight. Very, very, very tight. So now I have, you can see these are in different, different heights. Okay, there we go. It's all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Now, very important that the distance across the bottom here, from here to here, is the same as the distance from the top from here to here. All right? So I'm going to grab a ruler. Just kind of roughly measure this, okay? So what I like to do is measure across this way. I'm just going to kind of butt that in here and take a reading on this side. So I've got right now my reading is 21 centimeters and then and then some but it's not quite 22 um, since each centimeter is 10 millimeters 210 and we got 15, 16, 17, 218 is exactly where that is so I'm just going to move this to the top here and take a reading. Now, this is actually reading 220, so I'm about two millimeters off. So, how do I how do I get these two bars parallel to each other? Well, like I said, I've tightened this side, and so I'm actually going to need to move the top in two millimeters. So it actually is going to happen really easily by me using this as the pivot point. This right here will be the pivot point. I'm going to tighten the top down, which we've done. I've got the bottom loose, so if I, if I move the bottom in, it's going to go wider. If I move the bottom out, it's going to go in a little bit, okay? So I'm just going to kind of guess. I'm just going to move that out a little bit. I'm going to take another measurement here. Butt that in on this side. Take Now we're right where we want to be. Okay, so now I'm ready to tighten the bottom. Now, on this last adjustment, 
it's really kind of key to not get this. If I were to tighten this down, it would theoretically move that in because this one's stationary. And it's going to press in on the bottom. So when I tighten this last adjustment, I move them at the same time. So let's see if I can do this. Moving them at the same time. All right. Take another adjustment. I mean a measurement. And we're still at 218. And we're at exactly 218. So now we have parallel bars. So I know that when I put my uh, upper assembly down here, that it's going to be parallel from top to bottom. Now again, I've got a little wobble because I've been tightening things. So I'm just simply going to use these as my kind of pry bars and get this completely square, if I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that is the adjustment on the base. We've got our Z rods in. These are the Z rods. And now we're ready for um, the Y bars. The Y bar ends and the laser cut plate. We've got some motors to put on, but we'll go to our next section and continue our build.